Hello and welcome to Walking the Weird. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I am in the New Forest on the south coast of the UK and I've come to the interesting 18th century shipbuilding village of Buckler's Heart. So without further ado, let's go and check it out. Buckler's Hard is a small, quiet village located on the western bank of the Bewley River in the New Forest. In the 18th century, it was a much busier picture, with Buckler's Hard providing the perfect place for the construction of some of the largest and most famous warships. So let's talk a little bit about the history of Buckler's Hard and why it's even here. So it dates from 1720 and it was planned to be built as a town with a free port by John, the second Duke of Montague. And the Montague family are very famous around here. They own the whole of the Bewley estate. He intended for it to be used to primarily import and export sugar from the West Indies. But things didn't go to plan and unfortunately when he arrived in the West Indies the French had already got there and colonised said plantations so he returned back here to what he referred to as Montague Town where only seven buildings had actually been built. In the 1740s the Royal Navy were looking for suitable sites for shipbuilding and came across this half-built settlement. In 1744, Henry Adams was sent by the Navy to live here and oversee the building of a 24 gunship called, and I love the name of the ship, Surprise! So three ships were built here for Nelson's fleet, uh, one 64 gun and two 74 gun, and these ships uh, fought in the Battle of Trafalgar. So Montague Town was renamed uh, Buckles Hard to begin with after um, a Mr Buckles and his family who were shipbuilders and over time it changed to Buckler's Hard. Buckler's Hard played its part also in World War II and it became a ship repair station during that period. Fast forward to 1963 when things were more peaceful and calm here at Buckler's Hard. 150 private moorings were created on the Bewley River and the Buckler's Hard Maritime Museum was opened for the public. And today Buckler's Hard is a very popular tourist point. People come here and they walk to Bewley and then back again. They come here to have a look at the history, the museum and to check out the, the pub as well. So here at Buckler's Hard you can see a clear divide between the rich and poor. So on the left hand side here were the houses for the rich, which were the shipwrights, skilled labourers, and on the right, these two storey, much smaller cottages were for the labourers. Stairs in the uh, shipwright cottage.
this chapel to St Mary is actually quite a new addition, as in it was built in the 20th century as a chapel, but before that it served as a school, a shoemaker's and a private cottage as well. And recently, in 2011, when carrying out some um, work on subsidence here in the chapel, they found a smuggler's cellar underneath the altar space. So if you just come to the right-hand side of the altar here, oh, it's really hard to see, but it's just under this piece of glass. Let's get my camera, phone camera light out, phone camera light, aka torch. <gasps> It's just glaring. I don't think you can see. But down here is where they found various pieces of contraband, including empty brandy and rum bottles. It's a very small chapel as well. It doesn't seat many. So two, four, seven, nine, twelve on one side, and probably four, seven. 10, so maybe 20 people tops, I'd say, if you squeezed a few of those seats together. Small, but perfectly formed. Built by master boat builder Henry Adams in the 18th century, this, his former home, is now a pub, affectionately named Henry's. It is so gorgeous today. It's February. What is this about? It's warm. I'm actually going to have to take off a layer in a minute, I think. Bacon! So we can get a good view here of the slipways, which is obviously where the ships were launched. You can see how wide they are. So here's a good view here of the launchway. You can imagine these huge 64 and 74 gun ships sitting in here, ready to go off into sea to battle. People bustling around, the noise. And now look, beautiful, quiet and tranquil. So we've got a reconstruction here of the shipwright's workshop. So in the reconstructed um, shipwrights uh, workshop was basically um, a sort of dedication to the Argo Memon, which was Nelson's favourite 64 um, gun ship. So it's all about the history of that. But there's a TV playing in there, so I can't film in there because of copyright. So from Buckler's Hard, it is actually possible to walk to nearby Bewley, the Motor Museum, Palace House and the Gardens, which I will look at later this year when the weather's a bit more uh, settled.
so I could only find one ghost story associated with Buckler's Hard, and that's the sad story of Anne Norton, who lived at number 74 West Terrace. During some heartbreak in her life and a lost love, she sadly jumped from the top floor of her home uh, with obvious consequences. Her ghost was reported to be haunting her home and the street outside for many years until it was modernised and then all hauntings seemed to stop. Our final destination today is the Maritime Museum. This wonderful museum is full of displays showing how the ships were built, what their purpose was, and what life was like in Buckler's Hard in the 18th and 19th centuries. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Smuggling, or free trade as it was known, was also an important part of the history of Buckler's Hard. With a multitude of coastal landing spots and vast forests to transport contraband, the new forest was a smuggler's dream. Buckler's Hard was used as an operational base for smugglers and their plans, and revenue men were kept at bay by the difficult entrance to Bewley River. So we've got some fantastic reconstructions here of the labourers' cottages, which were the poorer people that lived on site here at Buckler's Hard. It's just starting to rain, so it's time for me to call it a day. Thank you so much for joining me here at Buckler's Hard. I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at this interesting 18th century village. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already so you can see the next walk. And any likes and comments are always welcome. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next Weird Walk.